Options for KZ Chiefs have reduced even further in terms of the defensive midfield position as in the Bagaba Tusi Aupas has happened. We'll talk about that. Also talk about the implications of Kangi Samayo's price tag and we'll also talk about another player that KZ Chiefs have promoted to the senior team and another free agent that KZ Chiefs might sign. Huh. Hello and welcome to Costa Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo. I am your host, and this this is where fans meet and talk about KZ Chiefs. Amaku see football club announcement. Quick announcement, guys. On Sunday, as you know, I will be at the stadium. So if you're in Devon and you'll be attending the game, do make sure that you meet me after the game so that we can hear your views and your reaction to the game. So just make sure, Uguti. If you are going to the game, let me know my comments and I will, will start communicating, basically. Okay, so let's start with the story, Batusi Aupas. Batusi Aupas has been signed by Mameludi Sundowns. In a deal that was kind of, it's like a Sundowns set there and they just did, said, we don't need to Aupas, because they don't, if you think about it. Because Sundowns let go of one of the arguably best defensive midfielders in the country in Andile Charlie because of whatever and they just continued playing and dominating and playing really well I mean they had Utebo Homkwena in that position and he's not the only person who can play that position Ute Rook is a defender but he can also play that position pretty well Umvala can play that position pretty well so they are fine with regards to defensive midfielders and I'm sure the other players because sometimes I'm not going to I don't even know Mklambe Bahuilon but those three that I counted a solid defensive midfielders and also with Umkwena also it gives you something going forward. So I looked at this and I thought to myself, could it be that the Sundowns are pulling a Terence Mashiro on us? Let me give you context. When the Sundowns is signed to Terence Mashiro, they said if you see that there is a quality player available, you don't want to strengthen the opponents because because Sundowns don't need to open as such. If they see Uguti Chiefs, can end up signing Aupas. That's not good for us. So let's go get Aupas so that they don't get him. I interrupted myself because I was thinking, I don't think Aupas will be starting ahead of Umkwen. Umkwen was like a midfielder or player of the season last, last season. He was there just solid all around. Aupas will have to fight really hard to convince Urulani to remove Umkwen and play him ahead of, 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 of Umkwen. So... I think it's probably, I'm not going to say it's it's it. They're going to need depth. They need depth. They are playing in continental uh, competitions and also in the PSL as well, in the DSTV Premiership. There's a DSTV Premiership. There's this new Culling Cup, what, what. There's tele Telecom Knockout, obviously. And then there's the MTN8 as well. So we basically have three more cups, well, one more cup in the domestic competition. So... It could be just that, but sometimes I need be because usually they do their things really quick. But this ones they've signed their priorities and they're like, before you pirates names the chiefs by strength and nation, we're going to take this boy off the market. And they've done that. Anyways, let's move on to another thing. By the way, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Talk about Kangi Somayo. Remember when the Chiefs didn't sign Kangi Somayo and we thought, oh Chiefs <laughs> <laughs> we say, hey, Chiefs, we say, e -e -e, Banjan, Banjan, what, what's the word that we use? But they are stingy, blah, blah, blah. Umayo at the time, the evaluation, was, evaluation was 24 million at the time, right? 24 million, and as we've already established, Chiefs have signed seven players for 16 million. They are not going to spend 24 million on one player. Now, the price here, according to committees, is up to 36 million. Why am I even talking about this? Because it's established. It's because people are still hoping, shame. I know, T. Nabaland, El Bechi, UC, football fans in, in general. We have hope. Hope never, like, hope is always there. We just always hold the hope. We would see something is going to happen. But if you think Kain Sama is going to join the Chiefs, forget it. Kain Sama, it's written in the stars. <laughs> that player is going to sign for Mamelo de Sundowns in two to three years' time. Clip this. Because Chiefs is never going to afford to kind Samayo. He's approaching his prime, which means he's only going to get better. 
and that leaves the Sundowns because even the Pirates, they do pay money for players, but I don't think they will go that far to pay 36 million. That's not going to happen, which is going to be more than that because, as I said, he's approaching his prime. So forget about Kain Samayo and hoping Guti, if we don't have a striker, maybe Kain Samayo could be a good option. Not going to happen. Speaking of strikers, we talk. We now move to Ukabatino Mango. So yesterday we talked about how Upobim Taung talked about the fact that they are not looking at signing Ukabatino Mango. But also the way that Agent Yakumaik Makap talked, he said it as if when it was at Radio 2000, Uguti, he said it as if there were negotiations going, but they were not close enough for him to get signed by Chiefs. And he also further revealed on Twitter, oh, Mike Makapi, H.N. Gap, Kabatino Mangu, Guti. Actually, Kabatino Mangu was offered to EK's Chiefs. So it's not like e Chiefs went out and were looking for Kabatino Mangu. He was rather offered to e Chiefs by Mike Makapi, which means technically, Upobi was right, but also was wrong, because if they are negotiating to see if the deal is possible, that is kind of looking at Kabatino Mangu. But when you're talking about did they scout him, then they didn't. So in that order, in that manner, he is correct to say they are not looking at signing him. So it's up to you and how you see this situation. But that's the situation, Kabatino Mango. And we move on to EK's Chiefs Net Development Table because uh, we know Uguti where a lot of players left each year, especially in that, is it a lot? Yeah. Matoho left, who was a center pack. Taban Tube left, who was also a center pack. Ungezana was sold, also another center pack. So three center packs in one season gone, which means valid. Only makes sense. Yes, there's Zuti Kloko who came in, there's Umsimang who came in, but there's still one more who needs to be replaced. Because technically, Udov is also moved to play as a left back, which means four four centre backs have moved. Enter U Siabonga Kumete, who's been very solid and very good as a defender playing in the development of Kaiser Chiefs. And he was spotted training with the Kaiser Chiefs this week, which which Chiefs does, by the way, to be honest. They do bring these players to just get used to the environment of playing alongside the senior players so that's the situation and i hope would there are no easy matches for each chiefs anymore which which is sad to even think about because we used to have easy matches good oh the arrows or so and so a smaller team we know we can give other players an opportunity but it seems like the smaller teams have become more problematic for each chiefs but that's besides the point the point is it's going to be good for kumete Uguti Abe Gulea in that hybrid position of training with the senior team, but still getting game time with DDC. And then if he's needed with senior team, he already knows the environment. So it's nothing new to him, Uguti. He has to adapt and stuff like that. So I think that's a good move, promoting the youngster. So sharp, sharp, uh, whoever decided to do that. And then Unplayable have reported Uguti Amazulu and the new coach, they have no plans for Uspesi Klimatun. And the moment Victor, they have no plans and they are about to release him. <sighs> the free agent bells ring. <laughs> because it's going to be a free agent. And for those of you who don't know, Uspesi Klimatun plays for Mazulu currently and was one of the hottest properties when he started, came up in about 2019, 2020 lap. And then he was youngster of the season, but then he got some injuries, and then he just Kerayake took a left turn, and things haven't happened for him. However, 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 there is the thing Yoguti Chiefs still want him, besides all of those things. Wanted him, Angati still want him. So I would think the fact that he was contracted to Amazon was kind of a stumbling block to them approaching him because he's a youngster and they see a lot of potential on him in him and then they would have thought they would sell him for a high price but given Uguti given I'm thinking of him given Uguti now Chiefs wanted human and they didn't sign human and basically and essentially human signing for Amazulu has meant no space for specific Matuna which is like a domino effect because we didn't sign human human replaces Matuna Matuna comes out and then he becomes a free agent 
and then it shifts specializes in signing free agents and then they will go out and snap him because kuna obsession vele la pakoka is achieved so good let's sign every midfield available and we do that I don't know because most of them end up not playing with the likes of Matlo who have not been given an opportunity even in preseason. I'm not going to say I'm a big fan of Matlo, but I'm saying Guabona, they've not been given an opportunity, but more players are being just added on top of them in that central midfield position. And it, it, it kind of just, it, it, it's it's more it's more like quantity over quality. Because if you sign three really good players, to come in and solidify your midfield. You know you have guaranteed starters, and the ones that we have, they can always come in when these guys are tired or come in to rest them for time, from time to time and just create a healthy competition. But if you have eight midfielders, <laughs> eight midfielders and one striker or two strikers, there is a mismatch in your team. But we'll see what Chiefs ends up doing with Indabaga Matuna. And also, I'll be interested to hear what you think about Matuna, what you think about Kumete, and Gabatino Mango, Mayo, and also Batus Alpas going to Sundowns. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, remember, Ikos, Alpelu Moy.